Hello folks, welcome back to Code Millionaires. In this short video, I'll be showing you how to install JG Menu. And what is JG Menu, you might ask? This is JG Menu. So it's similar to any other menu you have and it comes in hand when you are using a Thailand with a manager, such as OpenBots, iTree, Awesome, and many others out there. So in the last video I made, I talked about how I installed iTree on elementary OS and I made use of the JG menu. And the installation wasn't as smooth as I thought, so I decided to make a short video guide on how to install the JG menu for those that are interested in doing that. All right, so I saw an installation made by Linux, and the installation is based on Arch. So I need, I'll be focusing on the Debian installation. So the installation guide is actually from this repo. And what I did so far was to write a short script on how, a short script that will make the installation smoother because making use of this you will encounter some challenges which you have to manually install all the drivers sorry <laughs> install all the libraries needed so i will jump right into the script i've already prepared right so this is my repo here and i i will clone this I think that's done. Alright, so before we proceed, you have to make sure that you CD to your downloads folder. Alright. Alright. Okay, so after that, you have to see the two, the JJ manuscripts. And to run the script, all you have to do is bash JJ manuscript. Sorry, bash JJ menu install. But before that, I will be showing you what's actually on the script. That should be in the home. All right. So the script we're about to install, this is what we have in it. All right. So first, the script will have to perform a repo update and install the libraries needed for that. And it will clone the Git. So the git that it will be cloning will be this git repo for the installation after the libraries are installed. And after that, it will proceed with the setup. And this last section is actually my own JG menu config. All right. So let's get started. Now it's cloning the repo from the git. And yep, the set was successful. And what happened last is that this section is actually my own JG menu config. So what I did was to copy that into dot config JG menu. And this is it. All right. So let's check it out.
All right, yep, this is it. Okay, so what I'll do next will be to pin keep it on dark. All right, let's move that here. Okay, so the question is what other cool stuff can this do, right? Because if you're not into this setup, then we have to play around with the screenshots here, which they've provided in the ripple. So we have this type of menu here, different teams. So let's test it out. Okay. And this is what we have. You can search on the city. Okay. So actually this is nice for those of you that like it this way. It reminds me of Ruffy. If you've used Ruffy before. Okay, let's try out the second option here. Mm, all right. If you're into this, you can use it. If you still want to make some configuration on this look, you have to go to home on your home page hit ctrl h for that to show the hidden folders and select config and jg menu all right so this is where you make the changes you want Adjust the font size, the transparency, and whatnot to your taste. All right, so let's try out this. Okay, well, sadly, this went to my second screen. If you've installed this, then you can check it out on your own. All right. I guess for some reason, this doesn't want to work. Let's check out the last one here. Okay. All right. So. This is good, but I would prefer this very first option. But for my i3 setup, since I'm already using Ruffy, I would use my default um, custom config, which I already made. And all I have to do is come to downloads. This is a script. And do this. Either you copy this or you come to config. Come to custom JG config and copy that home dot config. and delete this and paste control v and once that is done you get it back so i prefer this mostly for my i3 setup
Alright guys, that's it. So if this video was helpful, please put a thumbs up and subscribe. That will motivate me to provide you with more contents like this. Do have a nice day. Thank you for watching.